Good morning. Today is May 21st, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today is the day that we commemorate Helena, mother of Constantine. We'll tell you a little bit about her. Uh, she was born around the year 250. We're not sure if that happened, if she was born in Asia Minor or in Britain, but she became a consort of the Roman Emperor uh, Constantius Chlorus in the year 272 or about then. She became she gave birth to Constantine, who became the Roman emperor. She became a Christian con and contributed to the needs of the poor. Uh, 326 to 327, she toured Palestine, searching for Christian sites and relics. And around the year 330, she died in Rome. Helena was the mother of Constantine the Great, the, em the emperor who legalized Christianity in the Roman Empire. During a visit to Palestine, Helena ordered the construction of churches on sites associated with Christ and thus popularized pilgrimages. She excavated what was believed to be Christ's true cross and her dissemination of pieces of the true cross helped establish the practice of honoring relics. A legend says that at Golgotha, she discovered which of the three buried crosses was Christ's cross when it returned a corpse to life. In art, Helena is usually shown holding forth the cross of Christ. And this is from uh, Rufinus, a fourth century historian. It was at this time, Helena, Constantine's mother, a woman matchless in faith, devotion, and singular generosity was altered by divine visions and traveled to Jerusalem, where she asked the inhabitants where the, pl where the place was where the sacred body of Christ had hung, fastened to the gibbet. The venerable empress also is said to have invited to lunch the virgins consecrated to God whom she found there, and to have treated them with such devotion that she thought it unfitting for them to perform the duties of servants. Rather, she herself, in servant's garb, set out the food with her own hands, offered the cup, and poured water over their hands. And the empress of the world and mother of the empires, appointed herself servant of the servants of Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, bless the public servants and the government of this and every country, that they may do their work in a spirit of wisdom and charity and justice. Help them in their authority to serve faithfully and to promote our common life. Continue to help us seek out Christ as Christ seeks out us. Help us to look for Christ in the hungry, the poor, the homeless, the sick, that we may be your hands and feet in this world. Continue to help us during this difficult time, heal our sick, encourage and use us to encourage folks to uh, be vaccinated, be with those who are taking care of, of the ill and those who are in harm's way. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.